one person, sister, you were gonna record everything, right? So you're gonna put a number, and then you're gonna try to read the signature and put the signature. And then if Brian says anything, uh, information about it, you're gonna write it down, okay? And then one person needs to measure it after, before or after it's photographed, okay? Maybe after it's cleaned, before it's photographed, and then she's gonna record the measurement of it, okay? So we're going to categorize it by one, two, three, so that there's some order. Who wants to help with the cleaning? So come over here for the cleaning, okay? And then Ella Gonzalez is going to uh, photograph, okay? We need a, an assistant for him um, so that he can turn the paintings when he needs to take the next photograph. Who wants to be the assistant? Okay, Ella Santos. Okay, cool. So you guys are the two photographers. Then we need someone um, who can... Take the piece when it's done being photographed, and we're going to put it by size, so we're going to put size back into yeah. okay. okay. So. Let me check this. Can you check if that's uh, anything? I think it might be something. That's okay. So I'll follow you guys in there, see how. So you guys do this quite often? I volunteer to go through the artwork? All day, every day. This is our first time volunteering Volunteer. for artwork. For artwork. But, uh, but every day you're in some sort of project, huh? We try to, so every day. Wow, this is going to be an interesting project. Have you ever seen this much artwork before? Nope. No, so much. This is an incredible collection, huh? This might be the biggest collection you'll ever see in your lifetime. Maybe. Me? Yep. This is huge. Here's another one. And where are you from? I'm from Oregon. Oregon? Yeah. Okay. What is your name? We're all from different places. Sister uh, Zigner. Sister Zigner? Okay. What's, what's your name? I'm from I'm Sister Moritika. Okay. That's cool. Where are you from? I'm from Tonga. Tonga? Yes. Oh, that's cool. The island of Tonga. The uh, island of Tonga. So, Far away. how long have you been in Las Vegas? I've been here eight months. Eight months? So, we got the whole crew here. In the extra large section. Oh, that's a mid century modern piece. Yeah, Rem remember her from the war? Right, from World War II. World War I, I think she just that died. Was, uh, um, I mean, it's yeah, uh, Hollywood memorabilia. Okay, so that's, that's signed by yeah. all. Glorious Leachman. You got Charles. Where am I going to put it? <laughs> Where am I going to put it? Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne signed this. Right? Oh, that, oh, that's signed too. That's another. That's Hollywood memorabilia. Look at all the people who are signed by. Oh yeah. That's the never. There never was promotion. <laughs> What is your name? Uh, I'm Elder Lopez. Uh, Lopez? Yeah. So you're volunteering to uh, yeah. learn learn about some artwork? Yes. That's cool. Uh, Brian, what do you know about this uh, Israeli piece here? This is something. Isn't that cool? It is cool, yeah. That is. It's from Israel. Yeah, that'll be an interesting piece to find out about. So just a quick heads up and explanation of what's going on here. The Mormon missionaries have volunteered to help a local couple clean and organize and classify their private art collection. This is probably the largest private art collection in Las Vegas. And the young Mormon missionary volunteers can learn in the process. That's a, uh, this that's Charles, a Russell. That's a Charles Russell. Yeah. You have what you still have the one in eleven. Yeah. So this is the Charles Russell. What's the pattern? The pattern of dots. Yeah. That mean that means it's a, it's a print. Now when you look at this, when you look at this, you could actually see, you can actually see the paint. See the paint? You can actually see the paint. If it had the little dots, that means it's it's not. Oh. That means it's so. This is original. Okay. They're, they're called pixel dots. Yeah, pixel dots. Pixel exactly. dots. And you can only see you can only see them with the magnifying glass. 
proper? No, it's not. It's okay. just a cheap print. See the little dot? See the, little, the pattern? The pixel dots? Yeah. See? Yeah. That's how you could tell. Got it. Yeah. yeah, it's a real oil. Do you like which one? The one you, you like the best? Like Yeah. Uh huh. So uh -oh. right there. Your personal favorite? I do. Uh huh. To find it. That's the, that's the one you like. That's your favorite. Oh, look at the color. The colors are kind of nice on it. I think you saw them on already. Oh, that's a real, yeah, that's a, that's a real, that's a real wood block. No, I think it's an oversized wood block, to be honest with you. Amora Koyo. This is the Kentucky Derby. That's a rare one. Azulay. Yeah. This is a signed lithograph. Uh, they didn't, they only made a certain amount of these, and there are very few of them are actually signed by uh, Azulay. Right. This is a, a very rare piece, Kentucky Derby, 1983. That should go probably over there with the uh, MGM pieces. Uh, a lot of the value is in the signature. One or two hundred dollars. With the economy the way it is, that's a paint by number. Are you familiar with paint by number? No. In the 1960s and 70s, they would have uh, kits where you know you could buy a kit and people yeah, just junk. people would paint those. That's junk. That's awesome. uh, you know, just regular Joe Blows. Mm -hmm. And um, so they all turned out just a little bit different. But but underneath there was a bunch of numbers. So all you had to do was on on number 22 you put like red paint. Mm -hmm. And uh, paint by number. It's kind of collectible. Oh. A character. This is just full of an assortment of. Oh, books. that's a portfolio. A yeah. portfolio of lith lithographs, huh? Mm -hmm. That's going to be interesting. Why don't we just open it right here? Brian, check this one. That's real. Are you sure? It looks like a pastel. It's real. It's real. It's a real painting. Oh, wow. We got there in like little folders, huh? It looks like there's. Oh, is that a fabric? Yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just uh, flip through there and see what we have. See? That's. Looks like a Moreau. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's a Moreau. Okay. okay. Are you sure this We're, is a... Uh, it's a Moreau. It's a Moreau. Sure it's a that's a good piece. That's a real... DeWitt, 1962. Yeah. Profit. 1954. Yeah. We got more people now? Holy cow. Are they going to want sandwiches? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure they're going to be <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're just here to do service and to uh, preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And plus learn about artwork, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's a, so. a poster of the Simpsons. Mm -hmm. Decorative prints against that wall. Okay, so that way, because if it gets too heavy, they'll quit. You heard of Ansel Adams? Yes. He was a very uh, yes, famous... Yes, photographer. Yeah, he was pretty famous. His photographs, I think, go up into the hundreds of thousands. Oh wow! Yeah, that's a, that's a poster, huh? Yeah, he's he's probably the most famous photographer in America ever. Yeah, huh? I really like his work. It is cool, huh? Yeah. Was, was one of these people like this? That's actually a picture from the church. So probably. <laughs> Do, uh, does anyone who who wants this piece? What is this? Cool. Who wants that? They can put it in their apartment. Who wants this? Wow. You guys should hang it in your apartment. Who gets it? So this was in my dream, and I dreamt that he was coming down, and he's like, well, where's the key? Because he had kept me, giving me a key to keep until he came again, to keep it for safety. I went and gave him the key, and then he took and opened up a cupboard, and inside the cupboard was a jar of honey. You know, you guys know the... the the little kid story about the bear who eats the honey and becomes the strongest bear in the, in the world. So he opened up the cupboard and inside grabbed the honey and he poured into the land of milk. And it became the land of milk and honey. <laughs> <laughs> is, that a, is that a real etching? That's a real etching. It even says it right here. Uh huh. Ellie, come here. Yeah. 
Yeah, the colors are amazing on this one. Um, this one? We're numbering every single piece. Oh, that's nice. Keep that, right? That's original. Yeah, keep that separate. That one's nice. Well, this is original. Yeah. You like the kind of stuff. Have you ever been on a, a mission, like, out of the country? Uh, well, technically, before I came here, I spent six weeks in Mexico City. Did you? For my language training, because I'm here. Okay. I'm, I'm here Spanish speaking. Oh, so, so you went to Mexico for your training for mm -hmm. Spanish speaking? That's right. Uh, for Spanish, and how'd that go? It went really well, actually. It was Did really it? Fun. So if there's any missionary trips that need a Spanish speaking interpreter, you're qualified. Well, that's why I'm here. Oh. I, I only I only teach the, the Spanish speaking members in this area. Oh, okay. So you're here for the Spanish speaking members of the team. Here, because our, our missions are two years long. Two years. So we only serve one mission. Okay. But you only go on one mission normally. Exactly. For us here, we we are assigned. We are in the Nevada Las Vegas mission. So this is your mission, like the lady. The, 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 in your mission, that's his room right here. I'm not sure. Yeah, probably about 200. 200. And then there's in, in just the Nevada mission. There's the Nevada West as well. Um, I don't know anything about them, but there's missions everywhere. My dad served in Germany. My mother served in Italy. I have a brother that served in Seattle. A brother that served in Jacksonville, Florida, and my sister went to Brazil. Wow! So the whole family is well versed. Yeah. In and culture and that's right and yeah. throughout the world. I have two, eight weeks. So you where you from originally? San Antonio, Texas. Oh, so you're from San Antonio, Texas, and this is part of your missionary training right here. We're we're what's called a district. And so a, a district is just, you know, a, a gathering of missionaries that we're assigned to. Uh-huh. Um, and Elder Fergus and Elder Lopez, uh, Elder Lopez, and I believe Elder Fergus is cleaning right now. They, I mean, they, they told the district, like, hey, we have a service opportunity. And so all of us are here. Wow, just like that. Uh, yeah. Just like that. He was turn of the century boxer. Johnson? That's John. That's Jack Johnson. It's hard to see there, but that's Sammy Davis Jr. name embroidered into the shirt. This is uh, the shirt that Sammy Davis Jr. wore. I think it's part of the Rat Pack.